garden tips. No more sad news. No more sad news. If you get if you feel too sad and down, just garden just more. Just garden more. Yeah. yeah. There is a lot to that. There is. I'm People have you. been so full of strife and angst and anxiety. And I know there's weird stuff going on in the world, but just go out into your garden. Go deadhead some plants. Go talk to some plants. Go have a sip of wine out there. It just makes the world yeah. a much better place. It makes you a happier person. <laughs> How can you not enjoy a butterfly uh -huh. on a flower and mm -hmm. not think life is awesome yeah. how can you not see god i mean that's mm -hmm. one of the, you go you can go that spiritual or just appreciate nature mm -hmm. it doesn't stress it just, just turn your doggone phone off it's got a terrible news feed you'll just feel <laughs> terrible go in the garden and talk to hummingbirds mm -hmm. pet the dog mm -hmm. plant a plant you, you will feel better so they should plant a summer blooming oh, plant. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> great, great. I was setting you up. I'm glad you took it. Oh, thanks, it. Dan. <laughs> yeah, so summer bloomers. So we're all out in our yards in the mornings, in the evenings, and we're enjoying um, our beautiful yards. But it's nice to have some blooming summer shrubs out there. Yeah. Definitely. So there's a, a wide variety, actually, that you can choose from. Um, most of them pretty much love the sun, those sunny spots. They can take some shade, but they do like the sun. Yeah. So, so full sun's considered six plus hours, five, six mm -hmm. hours or more. Right. So it could be just morning sun. That's enough oh, yeah. to make a blooming shrub really come to a lilac mm -hmm. or something. It makes it, right. make them just shine. I agree. So instead of bringing the whole plants this time, I just brought the blossoms. Not bringing a six foot plant <laughs> shrub out here to show off on the, in the studio. I thought, Hey, I'll save myself some time. That smells effort. delicious. So this is, it's a rose. It's the just Joey rose. This is actually off one of our rose trees that yeah. we have out there, which I love the rose trees and they look amazing in pots or in the ground, however you want to use them. Um, but this one's just Joey and it's kind of a little peachy apricot one. It is. It smells it like fragrant. a spicy apricot. It yeah, smells delicious. It is. So it's one of my favorites that I saw out there. I Can like, I just oh have goodness, that and smell it while you're talking about your next one? <laughs> ah, if you must. Nothing like a big man a smelling big a pretty rose. <laughs> ah, it smells so, good. And then these are Rose of Sharon. So Rose of Sharon, also known as hibiscus in, in our neck of the woods these are ones that are winter hardy okay so they're going to they'll go dormant in the winter time but they can take our cold and come back now there are some hibiscus that are not where the more tropical yeah um great for indoor plants or summer plants but they're not going to winter over for you um but these definitely do and that one's a real i can't remember all the names of them now there's probably like five different blooming ones out there i think that's there. bluebird isn't it i'm pretty no, sure no it's not bluebird oh we got so many we must have a dozen varieties but yeah uh, all of them have a six inch flower mm -hmm. multiple petals classic hibiscus double. yeah double flower or yeah. single flower petals mm -hmm. so and a white one it's this good it's a pretty white now you have to one. remember you're showing this off on the screen for the video <laughs> folks know. watching the vlog but well, that'll make this is broadcast over vlog. seven <laughs> antenna, terrestrial antennas you got to describe so, it with so words pretty blue yeah you probably i mean the whole plant will be covered with blooms. oh yeah hundreds I mean, hundreds of blooms yeah um, and most of them, most of the shrubs are probably what a six to eight foot easily kept chest high, yeah, yeah just above head high or so. Whatever you want. Yeah, but this is their bloom time, and boy, are they spectacular when they bloom! Just that real tropical looking little flower, different colors. You get the whites with the dark centers, the purples with the dark centers, but you definitely need one in your yard if you like that color bloom. Those do very I mean, nicely. dear, we, we own a garden center. You should tell them they definitely need two <laughs> in the yard. Well, maybe they, they are need beautiful. They one. are they are gorgeous. It's one of the only hardy hibiscus. I yeah. did show off at the class the uh, Mashudos hibiscus, uh, yes. which is that great big foot Huge wide flower. flower. Traditional yeah. uh, uh, hibiscus. We've got those, but it dies back to the ground like a perennial mm -hmm. and rests underground, then comes back fresh, mm -hmm. four foot of growth with these humongous flowers. Mm -hmm. This flower is a is a shrub. The Rose of Sharon mm -hmm. also looks like the same kind of flower, just smaller, but it doesn't die back to the ground. It keeps its shrub form. Um, anyway. <laughs> so the other one is crepe myrtles. So crepe myrtles are those really bright flowers that out people have out there in their landscapes. They come in purples and pinks and whites and dark reds. And, and the colors are just vibrant. Very, very 
Are you done? <laughs> Having fun with the camera. People can't see that. <laughs> I know. I know. Well, something. the people that are listening to the vlog, they can see it. A lot of folks are tuning in up to that. So I'm entertaining both. Okay. So Crate Myrtles love a nice warm spot out in your yard, that nice warm heat spot. Um, they're going to go dormant, but boy, they bloom a long time throughout the summer. And the colors, you can spot them off oh, yeah. yards away. You can they spot glow. them at Crate Myrtle. They get the brightest of the colors, mm -hmm. like a fluorescent right. red, fluorescent white. That's even a thing. It's just super intense white with this darker foliage mm -hmm. that just shines in the in the yard. Mm -hmm. And all of these are the that summer through autumn bloom cycle. Mm -hmm. So your spring bloomers, they're done. Yeah. So lilacs, they're done. Forsythia, they're done. They're just green blobs out there now. They're pretty, <laughs> but they their bloom's done. These right. are ones that take over. They're the next transition. Mm -hmm. They bloom from now through uh, the end of the year. Right. Into the end of autumn. Definitely. Oh, I also brought a Caryopteris, which is also known as Bluebeard sometimes. False um, Firea. False it's got spirea. a lot of names. Yeah. Actually very deer resistant. Yeah. Uh, so if you have deer issues, but these, another one that just loves it hot. Yeah. I mean, use these a lot in parking lots. You'll see them out in parking lots because they can just take up a lot of abuse. And I noticed the and butterflies love them. Mm -hmm. Great They're a pollinator. pollinator plant. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So spireas, what is this? A, a, a butterfly bush, a chased tree. These mm -hmm. are all have that similar color blue, mm -hmm. just different heights that they, they right. so chased tree is the big one, mm -hmm. 10, 12 feet. And butterfly bush can be a head high, and then this one's about hip high or so. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. a great one. And just profuse with bloom. Oh, yeah. It's in bloom. Speaking of uh, the chase tree. Oh, you brought, brought chase those too. too. So this is the bloom off of a regular chase tree, which sometimes I know they also get called uh, summer lilacs. But this is a new one out. See the color on the leaves? Yeah, beautiful. As well as the bloom. So this one's called flip side. So it's, uh, it's a... Darker foliage with a mm -hmm. violet colored flower. Very It's just pretty. intense. Absolutely great, great gorgeous. choice. Lisa, we are out of time. Sorry about okay. that. We should keep going. But Lisa, so are, you, <laughs> are you done now? <laughs> Lisa, Ken and Lisa Lane, the Mountain Gardeners, be right back after this.